One down, one to go. A manhunt underway right now for an inmate who escaped from the San Jose jail nearly a week ago. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bastida. Rogelio Chavez and another inmate busted out of the main jail in San Jose the night before Thanksgiving. Now, his partner in crime was tracked down last night in Antioch. And right now, police believe they have a solid lead on Chavez. KPIX5's Kit Doe is live where a search area has been set up in South San Jose. Kit? Yes, we're in a neighborhood just behind Oak Grove High School where uh, around 1230 today, sheriff's deputies got a call here near home uh, near Sigrid Way and Coy Drive. A large team of deputies showed up. We think it is some kind of apartment complex or duplex, but they showed up. They tried to contact the people inside there. They think one person is still inside this home, but that person has not responded to the contact from the deputies. Now, it has been a long seven days with these deputies working uh, all hands on deck round the clock to find this final escapee. The long arm of the law didn't have to reach very far this evening. Heavily armed deputies, including a sniper and canine units, surrounded a home in South San Jose looking for Rogelio Chavez. Ever since a $20,000 reward was announced, a steady stream of tips and credible sightings have come in. But authorities say Chavez has managed to evade a massive manhunt with the help of people like Emily Vaca. Vaca made her first appearance in court today after she was arrested two days ago. The prosecutor says Vaca drove Rogelio Chavez at least once around town in Gilroy. When you aid and abet somebody who is particularly a felon, who actually broke out of a jail, that's a dangerous situation. And so to help that dangerous situation along and to prevent the arrest and the capture, of a felon is a pretty big deal. Rebecca Henry has known Vodka for years and says her friend has never done anything violent and that she's going to send her money to help cover the $70,000 bail. She might see this message. What do you want to say to her? I love you, Emma. Last night, a tip led police to this apartment complex in Antioch. U.S. Marshals waited for hours outside until they finally spotted the other escaped inmate, Leron Campbell. When they went in to get him, Campbell was hiding in the attic, but what happened next was right out of a Hollywood movie. They determined that Campbell was hiding in the attic, and Campbell then crashed through the ceiling onto the floor where the marshal service and Antioch police took him into custody without, without further incident. They also arrested Campbell's sister, Marcasia Alexander, and charged her with harboring a fugitive. Last week, the two inmates saw through metal bars and using clothing knotted together, shimmied down from the second story window. The sheriff has promised to catch the last inmate, but also prosecute anyone who is aiding them. The deputy DA had this blunt message for anyone helping Rogelio Chavez. And if somebody's helping him, stop. And if convicted, Emily Vaca faces five years in prison for giving Rogelio Chavez allegedly that one single ride in Gilroy. By the way, anyone with information about Rogelio Chavez's whereabouts could have a very good Christmas. The reward is set at $20,000. And we're live in South San Jose, Kitto, KPIX 5.